little video today. Um, new jacket, so the winter is creeping in quite quickly now, um, and I fancied getting a new jacket. Um, if you follow my channel for a very, very long time, you'll have seen the review I did of my um, Patagonia jacket. Now, I've had this probably for the best part of three or four years now. It's still doing really well. Um, every year I see a little spike in views on that video, so I will do an update on this because this is still available. I think it's the Isthmus, or I can't remember, I don't know how to pronounce it, but basically this model is still available. I think there's still some interest in it, so I might do a full life review on that. Um, in summary, if you're interested, Patagonia, really great make, uh, really nice sort of ethical approach to manufacturing, and a pretty great product, but to be fair, I'm a little bit bored of that jacket, so I thought I'd branch out and get something new for this winter. And what I've done is I've picked up a, a, a brand, a model, uh, a Barber International that I have had before, not in this exact colorway and exact model, but I kind of know what I'm getting with Barber. Um, so I thought maybe we'd, uh, we'd talk about my experiences in the past with Barber, look at a few of the details on this jacket, we're obviously coming for some close-ups. Um, but yeah, this is the Barber Duke in a bark colourway. Uh, so this is sort of a, a fairly dark brown at the moment, um, absolutely saturated in wax. This is a wax cotton jacket, um, fresh out of the box. It is almost uh, greasy to the touch, very, very waterproof. Over time, I expect this to uh, lose a little bit of this darkness as the wax evaporates and the way it sort of uh, wears off and evaporates will be different across the jacket. So you'll get some nice sort of patina, I think. Um, and being sort of a denim fan, liking to see sort of good quality clothing sort of maturing and wearing, actually a bit of patina is really great uh, from my perspective. So as I say, this is a uh, Barber Duke. It's from the International range. Now in the past I have had an International jacket. Um, my experience of that jacket was, wasn't particularly tailored, wasn't slim, cut, um, and I was all ready to size down on this, but this is actually a large, and on this particular model it is a much more tailored uh, fit on the Duke than I've experienced before. Uh, a little bit more subtle branding, so there's no sort of badge and sort of slanted front pockets on the front there. Um, just a small Barber International badge on the sleeve there, but we'll come in for some close-ups and pick that up in some detail in a minute. Um, but yeah, very slim fit. Uh, it doesn't have a waist uh, belt to cinch it in, and actually it doesn't really need it uh, with this new slim cut. So I'm kind of pretty happy with that. Um, one thing that is different with this jacket, as opposed to the other jacket I had in the past, was it is quilted on the inside, which is quite a nice feature as we go into winter. Um, one thing I'd say if you haven't had a wax jacket before, my experience in the UK with our weather, um, so your mileage might vary if you're in a colder climate, but actually wax jackets are surprisingly warm. Um, really quite amazing how much warmth it can give you. Um, yeah, so I think probably the best thing to do is to hop in for some close-ups. Um, and we'll take a look at the details. detail here. Working from the top to the bottom, I guess that's reasonable, isn't it? So at the top, no hood on the uh, on the Duke model here, but you do have a nice corduroy lined collar, which you can pop up and uh, pin pretty tight to your neck up here. So it's really quite good for, uh, for wet weather. Um, when you're not using the little flap here, and if you're really bothered about it sort of dangling around, obviously you can tuck it back like that. I think a lot of the models, it does actually have a, a popper to go back to there, but that's neither here nor there, nor there really. A um, couple of pockets up at the top here, very simple, um, just a sort of tartan cotton lining on those. About the right size to fit an iPhone in, though without the sort of bellows top, um, I'd be a little bit concerned about putting sort of serious uh, electronics in there in, in bad weather. Um, on the inside, we've got poppered and zipped enclosure, so pretty good uh, waterproofing there, pretty resilient. As I say, this model is a large, which is uh, slightly uh, surprising. I thought I was going to go down to a medium, but these don't come in large. Everyone online seems to be sort of uh, suggesting you size up rather than size down. Um, obviously the 
label there shows the royal crests, which means that these have been uh, uh, selected by appointment to the, the royal family. Doesn't mean an awful lot, it just means at some point in the past, Barber were allowed to manufacture quant uh, products for the royal family in the UK, so nice little bit of um, sort of heritage there if, you, if you're a royalist. UK uh, flag there, I'm not sure if that actually indicates that it's made in the UK. I've got a feeling quite a lot of these are outsourced, little hang tag there. Barber International motorcycle clothing, so that's you know, the, the historical reference on this. Is it was designed for motorcycle use rather than general country use. Um, on the sleeves, just to the side here, you've got a fairly subtle bit of branding there. A little Barber International badge. Interestingly, it's not waxed, so I guess that goes on after the, the fabric's been treated. In fact, I imagine the fabric's treated before it's even stitched together. A couple of little vents on the underside of the arm there. As I say, these are surprisingly warm. Um, I was always surprised with the original uh, Barber Inter International jacket I had. Uh, that didn't benefit from the quilting here, so these are plenty warm enough actually for the winter months. Moving down the arm, nice little elbow pad on the uh, on the arm there. Quite important to have sort of reinforcing features like this because the uh, the cotton is only a medium weight. I think it's about six or eight ounces, so it does need a little bit of help where it's going to get wear and tear. And then a, a double popper cuff, little bellows and a uh, corduroy lining in there. Moving down the jacket, we have the, uh, the classic sort of country uh, bellows pockets here. Very, very accommodating. Um, again, fairly simple uh, tartan lining there. A little bit of bellows to, uh, to add a bit of um, capacity. Actually, interestingly, there on the bottom, uh, some I guess really sort of drain holes. So if you get absolutely saturated, you're not going to get a pocket filled with water. But again, if you are carrying your iPhone or electronic device, you might want to uh, use your inside pocket, uh, which we'll get into in just a minute. Uh, just coming down to the bottom here, finishing off, you've got a bi-directional zip, so you can vent up from the bottom if you. Uh, want to sort of cool yourself down a bit. And on the very bottom here, interestingly, you've got the, there's a cottony quilting on the inside, but where you're gonna get a bit of a uh, splash, a bit more wet weather sort of exposure, you've got this waterproof nylon, so you're not gonna end up wicking uh, moisture up your jacket uh, from the edge. So that's actually quite a nice little design to, uh, to help you out on those really, really wet days. Just hopping back up, as I mentioned it, we've got one inside pocket, and this is definitely where I'd be uh, putting my iPhone. Again, tartan lined, little tab there, a little bit of instruction about washing, which is for, uh, for a wax jacket, if you don't already know, don't wash it. Um, you can send it back to Barber for specialist dry cleaning. You can retreat it yourself with their thorn proof uh, wax materials, um, but, do not put it in the washing machine because you will absolutely trash it. Um, so, you know, brush off mud, uh, air dry, don't let it get musty. Um, and to be perfectly honest, from my previous experience, you know, washing is not a big thing uh, for jackets. Um, the only time I've really washed jackets is when you've got a, a technical material like Gore-Tex where the sort of dust and debris actually starts wicking material through, uh, wicking water through that material uh, and it affects the performance. Um, I've never found my previous wax jacket needed washing, um, but if you really want to do it, uh, you can send it back to Barber for a full treatment uh, for a relatively small cost. Okay, I think that's probably most of the details you'd want to see. Uh, there really isn't much to tell about on the, uh, on the rear of the jacket. Uh, simple uh, seamed back, um, but yeah. Well, that pretty pretty much brings okay. us to the end of the review. I hope it was useful just to show some features and stylings of this jacket and just comment on maybe the sizing might be the most useful thing to share actually. Um, one thing that I haven't mentioned is price point. Um, now, barber jackets aren't famously cheap. Um, I don't find them particularly expensive myself. I think they're, they're reasonable for what they are. They're 
they're much more affordable than sort of brands like Bellstaff, but this comes in at a RRP of uh, 199 typically. However, invariably you can find them on sale somewhere, and sometimes it's sort of late in the season. Um, this year, this time around, perfect timing. There was 25% off, so this was under £150, and I think that actually represents incredibly good value. Um, my previous jacket um, I had for three or four years. It did wear, um, it is cotton, um, it had a few frayed edges, um, but having said that, um, it was still serviceable. I'd never re-waxed it in those three or four years. It was still really good, and actually, because it was a brand name, I sold it on really easy, so I got most of my money back on that. So check them out in the sales, keep your eye out for the discounts, and I think you can probably pick up a really good jacket. Uh, as I say, I will do a full life review on my Patagonia, if you're interested in that. Uh, if you haven't seen my channel before, please check it out. Um, denim, high quality boots, everyday carry, fountain pens, pen knives, that sort of thing. Um, if you're interested in that, I'd love it if you subscribed. If you thought this video was useful, give it a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, I'll see you for the next video. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.